I'm a gay rights activist, and for the past year I've infiltrated Nazi groups in Europe and America. What would be your um, suggested solution to the, the Jewish question, or Jewish problem? Well, the solution ultimately is to expel them. The objective was to understand the alt-right. Who are their members? How are they recruiting? And how are they internationally connected? I started by building a backstory, a completely new identity uh, with a history and education and a complete online presence. And then slowly I got in touch with them um, by reaching out and asking if I could come to some meetings. At a few points during the year I was quite scared especially when I were with the most extreme groups, the groups that carried guns and openly talked about their views on, on black people and on Jews and, and what they wanted to do about it. First of all, I get rid of any voluntary birth control. You can't leave birth control up to the individual. Uh, you, have to, um, you have to have a, a regime where you know, people are trapped, basically. I think it's beneficial for the alt-right to seem like underdogs and they call themselves oppressed and so on because that makes them attractive, it makes them rebellious. I'm surprised that there are rivers of blood. Well, there are rivers of our blood, unfortunately, but I mean, there will be rivers of blood um, before this is all over. It's very difficult to be in a room where people are blatantly racist and deny the Holocaust and even talk about future genocides. You want to do something, you want to argue, you want to leave the room, but that wouldn't do anything. You have to think of the longer perspective uh, and just try to stay calm and stick to the plan. For some, it's really about their country and protecting their country. And of course, there's uh, racism in that too. For others, it's just very strong hate towards other groups. Scotland is very white also. Yeah. Very, very few blacks have gone up there, but it's too cold for them. If we can alter what our people think about who we are, politics is going to change as a matter of course. Politics will realign itself with a new metapolitical consensus in the society. And the recent Trump administration is an illustration of how important, uh, how, of how important metapolitics is. Long term, the alt-right is focused on uh, what they say is, is the metapolitical work, which means that they want to change the very basic culture of society. They want to have a separation between black people and white people, and that shouldn't be questioned. And they expect to achieve that by slowly changing the discourse in society uh, through media, social media, but also books and demonstrations. Short term, they're focused on getting politicians that they believe are beneficial for their cause elected. Uh, let me tell you, I had contact with the Trump administration. There was a plan, we were going to do things. I had contact. In the Trump administration. We were going to do things. These are people that actually plan for a coming race war, and some of them are quite uh, violent, and they carry arms, and they are extremely paranoid. Um, and I know that some of these groups have hurt their own members, so then I was afraid.